Welcome back everyone and happy holidays. Uh, today we're just going to quickly go over updating your configuration manager. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's Hyper-V manager in my lab. Here's configuration manager, it's CM1. CM is just configuration manager. We'll launch it. So to get to the update part of configuration manager, you want to click administration, updates and servicing, and then we'll click on check for updates to do just that. You can click OK. This is going to look for any updates available to you. It's relatively quick. And then there's a couple different different states you'll see here. Available to download, ready to install. Ready to install just means that it's been downloaded. Um, but the version that we're going to install is 2111 because that's the latest and greatest. And it's a good practice to be on the most updated version of any software. So we're going to do that here. Um, and the way that we start this is right click, install update pack. Here you can click on ignore any prerequisite checks. This is a fresh lab, so it's going to have everything it needs to complete the update. Um, this is where you'd select any features you want. We don't necessarily need to do this for our lab. It's going to be super basic, but if you're interested in any of this stuff, feel free to check it. And we're going to, we don't actually have any clients deployed yet. We can do that in the next video. So, but. Um, yeah, we'll just click next. It's not going to make a difference. Accept the license terms and privacy statement. I'm actually not going to mess with co-management or Azure yet because this is super basic. But if it's something you're interested in, you can you can definitely add it. But I'm not at the moment, so I'm going to uncheck it and click next. This will be the summary page. Looks like everything we selected is there. Prerequisites will be ignored. Test new version of the client in production. The cloud stuff isn't attached, so that's good. We'll continue. Nice, got the success page. So it's gonna it's gonna kick off the installation. So we can close out of this. Sweet. So then if we go back to updates and servicing. You can click on 2111, click show status. We can see the status of the installation here. Looks like it's currently replicating content. If we want to see a little bit more, we can right click and show status. And it'll show you exactly what's going on in the installation process. So this will take a while to complete. There's quite a bit to download, but we'll, uh, we'll be back in a second. We'll speed up the video. Okay, just uh, doing a quick check-in. Um, <clears throat> the update pack installation status wizard we see here won't actually update. So I just wanted to call out that you'll need to click refresh to see see any changes. Um, in a fresh lab, under prerequisite check, you'll see this warning. Um, check if .NET is at least version 4.8. It's not by default. Um, so it'll just go on to the next one, which is 4.6.2, which is fine. And we can update that later as well, but everything else looks pretty good. And again, you should see these exact same errors, but you don't need to worry about them. It'll still update without issues, hopefully. So cool. See you in a bit. We're going to let it finish now. Uh, we're back and it looks like the Installation has completed and we get a prompt telling us that there's a new version of the console available. So we'll click OK, which will close the in the console and install a new version of the console for us. Nice. So the console has updated and configuration manager has updated. And we can verify that by clicking the drop down on the top left 
and then about configuration manager. And here we can see it's 2111. So that's pretty much it for how to update configuration manager. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment.